Hey gang and welcome to your very first Chakra UI tutorial. Alright then, so first things first, what exactly is Chakra UI? Well, in simple terms, it's what's known as a component library for React. And what that means is that when you use Chakra in a React project, you get access to all of its pre-built and pre-styled UI React components like button components, input components, avatars, lists, you name it. There's also a bunch of interactive components such as tabs, accordions, toasts, tooltips, and modals and more. If you've ever used Material UI for React before, it's a little bit like that, except Material UI uses material design concepts and Chakra UI doesn't. But either way, it gives us a really quick and easy way to mock up React websites using these pre-built components so we don't have to make them from scratch. The downside to that is that most of the functionality and design of these components are predefined, which can make your website start to feel a little bit generic the more you use them. But I find that especially for quickly mocking up landing pages and prototypes, that Chakra UI definitely helps a lot on the UI front and speeds things up considerably. Plus, you do get the option to customize pretty much anything from the default Chakra theme to give your site your own personal touch. And you can also make use of something called style props to change or add styles to each pre-made component individually. So there is a lot of flexibility with the library. So in this course, I'm going to teach you the basics of Chakra UI and how to use some of the different components to make this simple task manager UI here. I'm also going to show you how we can customize components using style props and also extend and change the default theme to change things like colors and fonts. And by the end of the course, you should be in a good place to be able to confidently add Chakra to your own React projects. One thing I do want to mention is that in this series, we'll only be focusing on the UI of this website, not the functionality. So I'm not actually going to be communicating with a database or an authentication system on the back end because that would take the focus away from Chakra and I don't want that. This is, of course, all about Chakra. So we'll be focusing just on Chakra UI components and the UI side of things for this series. And if you want to learn a little bit more about backend stuff, such as authentication and databases and whatnot, I've got loads of courses about that on the channel and also on NetNinja Pro. I'm also going to assume you know the basics of React before you start this course, because Chakra is a React component library, right? So if you don't know anything about React, this is not the best place to start. You're best off learning that first. I'll leave a link to a course I have on React down below the video. Otherwise, my friends, you're good to start your journey with Chakra UI. Now, I have created course files as usual for this playlist, and you can find those on GitHub at this repo right here, Chakra UI Crash Course. The link to that is going to be down below the video, and you're going to find access to each of the different lessons here. So if you want to see or download the code for Lesson 5, for example, you'd select that lesson from the branch dropdown, and you can download a zip folder of that particular lesson right here. Now, also, I've created a starter project for us, so we don't have to boilerplate the React site from scratch. So I've already done this. I used V to generate a blank React project, and we're going to download that to begin with. So go to code. First of all, select the starter project branch, then go to code and just download a zip folder right here of that starter project. So once you've downloaded that folder, you need to unzip it, go inside it and open up the project folder in whatever text editor you prefer. I'm using VS Code. And also I've renamed the project folder to Dojo Tasks. You might see something else like Chakra UI, Crash Course, Start Project. So rename it if you want as well. Okay, so first we need to install all of the project dependencies because when we download something from GitHub, it doesn't come with that node modules folder and all the dependencies inside it like this. So to install those, open up a terminal and you want to type npm install and that's going to go ahead and install all the project dependencies for us. All right, so now we've done that, I just want to walk you through this Startup React project. So as a reminder, this is not going to be a React course. This is all about Chakra UI, and I will expect you to have the foundations of React in your belt. So if you don't already have that, check out my React course. Otherwise, a lot of this is going to go over your head. So if we take a look inside the source folder, you can see we've got the main.jsx file right here, which kickstarts the application. Then we have the roots component app.jsx. And inside here, we import a few things from the React Router DOM. Now, we're using the latest version of React Router DOM at the time of recording. And in that latest version, we create routes a little differently using this function, create browser router. So we create a browser router using that function, 
and we nest our routes much like we did using the older versions of React Router. But then what we do is we pass in that router using the router provider to the application itself, okay? Now, if you wanna learn more about how we do this, using this function, I've got a whole series on React Router in depth. I'm gonna leave a link to that course down below the video. But you can see right here, we've got one root route, which wraps the rest. Now this one right here, this is for a layout, a root layout. So this layout file is, or this layout component rather, is gonna wrap all of these different page components. So we import the root layout component right here and the other page components, one for the dashboard, one for create, and one for profile. And we have paths for each of those. Now this is an index path, which means it's just forward slash. And then we have a path for create, so forward slash create, and then forward slash profile. So they're the three paths that we're setting up, and we have these three components for each one of those. So let's take a little look at those. If we go into the pages folder, that's where they all are. We have the dashboard one, very, very, very simple, just a div with dashboard as the text. The other ones are very similar as well, create and profile. So nothing really in those pages. I just wanted to create them so we have them there ready for us. Now, like I said, we have the root layout component surrounding all of those, and that's found inside the layouts folder It's called root layout. And all it is is a simple component. And all we do is render this component right here, outlet. And that is how we say, look, we want the page content to go here. So whatever this thing wraps right here, so all of these, that is output in the outlet component right here when we go to that path. Does that make sense? So again, if all this is going over your head and you wanna learn more about React Router, check out my React Router series. But to be honest, we're not gonna really need to touch that or know too much about routes when we're focusing on Chakra UI. So what we're gonna be doing is basically using these different pages and putting the different UI components in those pages. Now also one more thing we have, or rather two more things, we have a data folder with a file in it called db.json. And this is a bit of dummy data we're gonna be using later on in the course, just so we can fetch it and output that data to the browser, okay? So they're just a list of different tasks. Next, we have this public folder with an images folder, or rather IMG folder inside it. And we have these four images, Luigi, Mario, Peach, and Yoshi. And we're gonna use those images for avatars of different users later on. Now, if you wanna grab those images, all of the URLs to those images are right here inside this images.txt file, all right? So then my friends, that is pretty much it as far as the starter project goes. Let's try spinning this up. So I'm gonna run npm run dev, and hopefully this should all work, and we should be able to preview this in a browser by clicking on this. All right, so this looks like it's working. We can see the dashboard page. And if we go to forward slash create, we can see the create page, yeah. And if we go to forward slash profile, we should see the profile page, awesome. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is install Chakra into our project because it's not already installed as a dependency. And we also want to set it up so we can use Chakra in the application. So if you go to installation on the docs, you can see this is how we install Chakra using these packages. So copy that thing right here. And then if we scroll down, you can see an example of how we can set it up. Now, what we're doing is grabbing the Chakra provider and we're wrapping our entire application with that Chakra provider. And that means that in this application then, anywhere in here, we can use Chakra components. Now, it does this inside the root component right here, app.js, but we're gonna do it inside the main.jsx file. So then let me cancel out of this process and I'm gonna paste in that npm install command to install these different packages right here that Chakra needs. And while that's going on, what we could do is go to the main.jsx file and we can set up Chakra right here. Now, the way we do this is by first of all, importing the Chakra provider component from at Chakra hyphen UI forward slash react. And that then needs to wrap our entire application. So let's go just outside the app and use that Chakra provider component like so, take the closing tag and put it at the end of the app component and just scoot that in. So now we're all set up to start using Chakra components in the rest of our application.